Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Today we're doing things a little bit differently. We're doing a photo shoot and I'll be shooting some digital and some film. Today we have our lovely model, Talia, and our makeup artist, Zoe. And behind the camera is Thomas. You can see his hand. We're gonna have some fun on a rooftop and then we're gonna go to two other locations. Three different outfits in total. We'll be just kind of showing you what a shoot's like. This is kind of more low key, I guess. And you get a bit of my process as well. How's that? <laughs> I did feel like it was a bit rushed because like parking in the city and in the valley had to waste a lot of time finding parks really. Yeah. But um, I think it went well. You can be honest. How did you feel about today? Good. Really good. Yeah. I'm satisfied. It's a bit of a challenge for me with makeup today. We've got yeah. some uh, false lashes on, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit more glam, bit of a wing, bit of a bolder brow. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. This whole shoot was a bit last minute yeah. too. So it was, yeah, it was like three days. <laughs> three days advanced. before. Trying to pile like, things together, yeah, uh, make magic like, happen. Yeah. And um, not really having planned locations as yeah. well. But sometimes good things you know, happen out of like a quick oh amount of time. Like, yeah. You usually get something together quite well. I, have you, like, I didn't even show you like any photos as we went. Yeah, like, 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 that's all her little behind, behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you haven't been shown on film? No. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Can maybe just like twist. Yeah, add a bit of like a flick to it, I think. Yeah. She's got a nice long hair, you kind of want to... Just work with that. So this didn't really start out as a comparison video, but we did shoot several different formats. I shot digital, 35mm and medium format. Now with the 35 I shot two different stocks. We shot the consumer film Kodak Gold and the more professional range Portra 400 and with medium format we also shot Portra 400. Now this was more just to show how a shoot was. It's not necessarily going to be in depth about the difference between all the different formats that I used but you can kind of notice it. Now I haven't shot digital in a while and this video was filmed quite a few months ago but going back through the images, having shot mostly film for like the last few months, digital is still great and I was never anti-digital when I started this. Digital has its place but there's just something about shooting film that I enjoy more as a process rather than the actual result. You can see here that like everything kind of turned out really well. The digital stuff looks really nice, the film stuff looks nice, it's just different. And I think if I was going to talk about the film stocks, I actually preferred Kodak Gold for this shoot, even though it's a cheaper film. It's just more contrasty, more saturated in colour, and it was a bit of a cloudy day as well, so the portrait is a bit more muted than it normally would be, but the gold kind of popped a bit more. And I also do think Kodak Gold is a bit underrated as a film stock. Just because it's cheaper doesn't mean it's necessarily worse. It just, it's different, has a different look, and it's a look that I actually kind of prefer. It is one of my favorite film stocks to use, and the fact that it is cheaper is also really nice too. But the medium format stuff I really liked a lot on the rooftop. You can just see how much more clearer and how much higher the resolution is with medium format, and of course, with my Mimi 605, it is 2.6 the size of 35mm and considering my digital camera is crop sensitive as well, medium format just obviously is a bigger and better image at the end of the day. But they all have their places, digital you can see on the day. When it comes to film you're kind of just like take the photo, move on to the next shot. Where are we now? We are on Little Street for little people. I know this pink, pink background looks nice at the moment, but we're not shooting here. I really did shoot here before, but there's some cool graffiti down that way that we're going to utilize. Especially because we're going for more of a cash kind of streety kind of look. So, it's good. <laughs> I'll probably use this actually. <laughs> Now I think the outfit for the first location was my favorite, but I do like the second location and its outfit quite a lot as well. Just a uh, grungy style, the graffiti, and I'm a sucker for plaid and clothes. One thing I did kind of notice was when it came to exposure though, 
I was treating my digital camera like a film camera, which I should not have done. I was overexposing it a bit in some of the images or underexposing a bit in a way that digital just, it's better to have underexposed than overexposed, even though you still don't want to do that either. But the summer shot still turned out pretty good. But as far as the location and outfit goes, the second location was great. But I think I do prefer how the portrait in 35 turned out. I did try to make the Kodak Gold look more like the medium format portrait 400, which was a bit greener and yellower. But I'm kind of, I think I might go back and edit that. I do like how the 35mm portrait looked because it was a bit more viewed and I was able to make it look more how a Kodak Gold would normally look. But for some reason, when I was editing the Kodak Gold, I did kind of make it a bit greener than I would have liked. But most of these images you're seeing are unedited unless it's labeled otherwise. And the medium format stuff in this location I wasn't as happy with, just as far as the color and contrast go, it wasn't what I was expecting. But obviously the quality of the image is still really good. I don't know if there's like a recurring theme in my style. I feel like I shoot them in a more masculine way, like a way that men would mostly be shot rather than women. Like I'm not really objectifying them with the way I take photos, at least I don't think so. And I do tend to shoot from a bit lower, which does kind of give them more of a strength in the poses that they do. And I don't know if this is just like the way I see women, which is actually pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I find that's something that is a bit different with my photography style. And it's not really something that's conscious. It's just, I guess, the way I like to shoot. This last location I wasn't as happy with, but it was a location that wasn't planned because we couldn't get parking near a spot that I originally wanted. And so there was less to play with and it is a lot flatter, but I think it still kind of worked. I still like what we got. It's more just the location itself wasn't as interesting and I wish we could have gone to the place I wanted to go, but we made it work and sometimes that's just what you have to do. But at the end there, I'm pretty happy with these images and I did like my digital images more than I remember liking them because it has been a few months since I've gone back to look at them. I do kind of want to edit a few more photos from this, but I am a bit backlogged, but I'll probably get around to it sometime. So the Portra 400 is definitely a lot muted because it was getting cloudier and darker. So I think the Kodak Gold definitely stood out a bit more. But I like your direction this time. We had a lot of directions. Yeah, so how do you, how, like, as a model, how do you like to get direction? Do you like uh, a model? I hate when no one tells me what's what like, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. like especially with outfits, there's like, oh, just bring something black. It's like, there's lots of things that you can bring. Yeah. <laughs> but you sound like a full mood board. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I got that. I, I love that. making mood boards. <laughs> it's a lot of fun Better for me. Better be over-prepared than under -prepared? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I, guys, I hope you like how the photos turn. I hope you like how the photos turn. Me too. Like, <laughs> 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 This is definitely a small shoot compared to like other big, like if you're working with brands and stuff, definitely much bigger. But if you're just getting started, this is kind of a good thing. Just get some nice clothes model and just get out there and find random locations. If you're interested in shooting, just go out and shoot. Because if you don't go out and shoot, then you have nothing to show and nothing to improve upon. So I forgot to film an outro for this. Please like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications. That way you know when there's a new episode up. And I am going to try to make this weekly until the end of the year. And so keep an eye out for next week's video and just get out there and shoot some photos.